Hey guys, I hope every one of you did GATE 2022 Civil Engineering to your best. So in this video, I will be doing a brief analysis. So we will be seeing what was the subject wise weightage and what will be the expected cutoff and how many questions you need to attempt to get a top rank. So this is just for the anxious students. You can always wait for the proper official key and rank. But this is for the really excited students who want to know what has happened in the paper and how they have done. So now what is done is done. So let us go straight ahead into the analysis of the paper. So the first thing is what is the overall feel of the paper? So from many students what we are hearing is the paper was exactly in line with the expectation. There are not many surprises and everyone was telling it's about moderate level and when we saw the paper both for forenoon and afternoon session we also felt the same the paper was in line with the expectation so one change this year when compared to last year so it is always good to compare to the previous year so that we can know what has happened so last year this new pattern was introduced called msqs multiple select questions where one or more than one option was correct so last year they introduced the pattern but they just asked one msq in civil but this year they have gone for 7 MSQs and if you had seen and if you had taken our APACD full length test you, whether you have taken the free test or the paid test you would have seen at least we have asked you 6 MSQs and we stressed on it so I hope you are able to uh, answer these MSQs and our tests also help because MSQs are always tricky especially when they are theoretical so that is the one big change this year and that can bring the cutoff and the top mark slightly down not by a large margin but since the paper was similar to last year and the only change is the msqs so that can slightly bring down but not by huge maybe by one or two marks so that is the initial expectation once we see the overall paper it could be different so this is totally based on the memory based questions which students have shared so we have seen only 30 to 35 questions for both the sessions as of now and for the forenoon session Aditya sir has already solved some of the questions you can check that and we have also put the pdf in the blogs and for the afternoon session also it will be available in our blog quite soon because there are more msqs nat slightly reduced so last year there was 27 this year there was just 23 numerical answer types so there were two to three tough questions but that comes every year so if you see if you are able to answer those like usual questions and apart from that if you had answered the lengthy questions and even got some msqs correct that is your key which can get you the top rank I will, I will quickly come to that how many you need to attempt or how much marks could have got your top rank before that we will see the what will be the expected cutoff so last year and over the years if you have seen the cutoff always varied between 27 to 30 marks like a magical thing it was always varying between 27 to 30 marks except in gate 2020 so that time the cutoff was 33 marks so that was because there were marks to all in at least two questions like four to six marks four marks in one session and six marks in another session was marks to all that is why the average went high so the cutoff went high because it depends on the average marks so that was around 33 but if you see otherwise it was always staying below 30 and this year also we believe if there is no marks to all you can expect the cutoff to be between 27 to 29 so that is the initial expectation as of now so this cutoff is for the general category if you want to know for OBC or SCST category so you just have to multiply the cutoff by 0.9 for OBC and around 0.67 for SCST EWS it will be the same cutoff as the general category now coming to the rank expectation so overall what we have seen over the previous years is it if you get around 75 to 80 marks you are going to be in the top 100 rank so one year you had to just get 76 and another year you had to get around 79 and last year you had to get around 78 in 2020 alone it was 81 like I told you there was marks to all so let us ignore that so this year it might slightly reduce due to the MSQ so probably if you are around like 75 to 80 marks you can get a top rank and if you are scoring like 60 to 65 marks you can try to come in the top 1200 rank 1200 rank and if you are scoring 50 marks your rank might lie anywhere between 3000 to 4000 
around this 50 mark what happens is every two marks will fetch you like 500 rank more or so there's a lot of sensitivity because lot of students get around that marks but you can still expect if you are getting like 50 marks it's around the 3000 4000 range so the gate score and stuff we can predict better once we have the full response sheet and we have the data of students we will definitely bring in a gate rank predictor also and coming to the normalization so i should not be commenting on it yet because i have not seen the full paper but probably some people are telling that the paper 2 was slightly tougher so what is your opinion do tell me in the comment section if you finally see the poll what we have asked also you can see that they are telling that the session 2 was slightly tougher so you let me know in the comment section which paper do you think was tough and last but not the least whoever is coming in the top 100 rank APCD we will be rewarding them and if you come in the top 1000 rank you can get the interview course for free which can help you in your interview preparation either you are appearing for MTech or even for PSUs if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and apart from that if you want to see the solutions, we are uploading the memory based solution, keeping on updating our blog. So you just type apacd.in slash blog or you just check the description. So you can check there or you can check Aditya sir's video also, you will find the solutions. And that is all for now and we will bring in more and more updates. The response sheet is also going to come out in two days. So let us talk again.